here we today we are here with my good friend Thomas Fleury with the Boners Brews podcast. How's everybody doing? Ready for some good tastings? That's for sure. Get it in my my mouth. You know, just the, just the beer, of course, of course. So let's talk about the beer we're drinking today, okay? I brought myself a, a delicious porter from the uh, flowing, beautiful coast of um, Romeoville, Illinois. Um, this porter is a delicious, unique blend of roasted malt, <laughs> and it has a delicious vanilla scent. Ah, kind of reminds me of you, buddy. Oh, uh, that's sorry. I, I cleaned that yeast up. <laughs> so this delicious porter is a robust porter on a whole new level, and has a bold maltiness complemented by notes of coffee. Mmm, and chocolate. Oh, you got to get you a pull on this badass beer because this is something else. What are you drinking today, Mr. Foolery? Same thing I drink every day, my friend. I got it on my shirt especially. I don't know if I showed you. Nice new little sh gift shirt, Malort. I drink nothing but. It cures everything wrong with you. It's It's the greatest miracle cure ever made from the Chicago River. And also oh, cures everything right God. with you. I am jumping in to start the episode four spectacular. You guys. The following podcast has been recorded by LIM. From taverns across Chicago land to St. Joe's Park in Joliet to the world of podcasting. They're upholding the good name of Chet Gunderson and letting the old styles flow. They are the lovely intoxicated men. And this is the lovely intoxicated podcast. Yeah, you. I thought this was just me and you. You invited other people. Who the fuck is this man? Who the fuck are you? Who what? the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? We're doing our podcast. This is a bonus. Well, we've already blew, podcast, we, are, we already blew our one f bomb for episode. Hold on, I'm gonna bring in Gabagool. And you didn't even let Tony Gabagool in. Who the hell is Tony Gabagool? Oh, that you're in like... trouble now. Tony, yeah, do you I'll believe this? What are you here? What do you say? Yeah, Episode well, what do you hear? What do you say like, about what the hell's going on? I hear our, something, but I don't. I, what, who the hell is talking to me right yeah, now? So more spectacular is on its way, Pac Man. Yeah, we got it Who's on its way. Serious are Italian you talking what's from What's going heaven? on in our room right now? In our room, what are you talking about? I'm Hold on, not... one second. Let me bring you in here. Oh, bring me in. Be me in, Scotty. Who the hell are you bringing into my podcast? Tony, do yeah, you see what's going Tony. on? Who the hell is this? You what look like you just walked off the set of the prayers, man. Of shit. Pac Man, is this place Irish? I think oh, this yeah. place is Irish. What, well, what is this? No, no I don't uh, think so. How did you? Okay, Batman. you know what? I got a question. Who's this guy above me and this guy over here? Over here, you the, your, your mirror, it's the camera for whatever reason. You know what? Let me fix this. I'm kicking you guys out of the bar. You've been cut off. Okay. What the hell? Going out of the bar. How the hell did you guys get in the top secret LIM Zoom room? This is a top secret boners beer room podcast room podcast. This is the lovely intoxicated podcast. Guys. No, 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 no. Oh, no, yeah. We, we what was on our train right here, Porter's just the two of us right off the bat. You guys join us here. I also even set up a password and like so hey. I don't even know how the hell you got in here if you don't know the password. Pac-Man, did you forget to change the password again? No, the password's been the same since episode one. I'm not gonna say it out loud, but well, I don't have to say what ours is out loud either. All right, all right, all right. I got a, I got a deal for this. On the count of three, everybody say what the password is. All right. One, two, three. Beer. Beer. Oh. What? How did so? So then, how did you get in the room? Even though the who who sent well, you the link? 
We don't even know who you are. Like, who I, you I, get is in our butt. It's like I'm beer. Like, yeah. I, got yeah, something to tell you. I got something to tell you about this delicious, multi, robust marshmallow with notes of chocolate and cardamom. Awesome. Uh, coming from the Great Plains of Romeoville, Illinois, we got a delicious little porter here, and you guys have got to try this. I mean, come on. Well, I mean, once a porter, always a porter, am I right? Do they look familiar? Honestly, I've been what drinking so much beer tonight, I don't remember what high school I went to. Hey, who's talking about high school? What are you on about? <laughs> yeah, do you so, guys look like some guys we went to high school with? I don't know. I went to high school 36 years ago, man. Man, you're like that. You got that Paul Rudd aging to you. I'm telling you that much. <laughs> oh, it's right. a filter. I have to give, I have to give no. him that. He may have know, hacked I, I, our I room, what? but like. It's a, se- it's a little secret ingredient I gave him. You know, it's, it's called Malort. Cures everything oh. that's wrong. Like best oh, best no. no. snake oil, I'm telling you. Oh, God. Oh, no. You got to drink this, this nice ale with notes of marshmallow and chocolate, man. And coffee. You guys don't even have a beer in your hand. How could you say oh, that your coat for them is beer? Oh, don't, you yeah, don't you guys know right? saying C one? We're the lovely intoxicated hey, men. Hey, Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd. Let me show you uh, two, three things here. Uh, I got the nectar of the gods with me, and so does Pac Man. Old style. What the hell is Cheers, that? Cheers, Pac Man. Cheers. Style. Wait, wait. Hold on. Let me crack this bad boy. Crack it. It's not crack. Wait, 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 wait. You're drinking that rice beer brewed with. The most garbage hops in the entire country. It's that the nectar just... of Chuck Gunderson. I'll have you. Who the know. hell is it's Chuck Gunderson? Who is Chuck Gunderson? Who's Chuck Gunderson? Batman, get this guy out of my room. You guys are kind of disgust me. I can't get him out of here. Get him out of here. I'm gonna go finish my. Yeah, go finish it, Paul. Finish Rogers. your, finish your whatever. All right, now this other guy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Lord. over there, over here, wherever you went. Where are you at, kid? What's happening? What's uh, what's your name? What do you hear? What do you say? Yeah, what's well, uh, you know, it's it's your boy Thomas Foolery, getting up to that that foolery. Hmm. Thomas Foolery, I like that. I like that a <laughs> lot. Thomas Foolery, it's nice to meet you, young man. It's nice to meet you, it's Thomas. Nice to meet, uh, you, you seem like a rather cultured individual. Ah, so are you. I like your get up. Yeah, thanks. I like what you got going on there. It's, I like that. It's a nice the Tiger shirt. King. I don't want to be left out. What do you guys think of my Damien Gray shirt? Well, he's the third most important Damien in RPW. Oh, so treated. That's not going to come back at us at all. No, 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 no. That's not going to come to bite us. Well, Mr. Foolery, I appreciate you stopping by. Maybe uh, you uh, know what? a little mix up turned out to be all right. I'm happy to have uh, stopped on in. Maybe you will have you around sometime. Uh, you know, I don't You're think I, might, I wouldn't mind that. You're yeah. down for a little old style on top of Malort. Yeah, Chicago Got handshake. You. There you go. You can't Chicago style. If it there tastes rough, go. it's a little bit of life. Keep it real. You know, I had a good feeling about that guy, Gabagool. Yeah. Hey, Thomas Woolery, you take it easy, brother. Take hey, it you easy. Fellas, take it easy, too. You have a good one now. Okay. Now that we've had some time to regroup, after whatever you know we walked into a little bit ago um uh, though i will say uh thomas foolery am i right he, uh, you're right you're right when you're right you're right and you're right my friend and now we can officially welcome you to the lovely intoxicated podcast fourth episode four spectacular that fourth episode. Fourth episode. That's right. Fourth episode. Right, Gabagool? You know what's spectacular about it? Just from the jump? What's we that? got a brand new intro. Oh, wasn't that slick? It was. High you know, quality. you sent that to me and you never said how you did that. Was that you? No, I, I cannot take credit for something as beautiful as that. Let me tell you something, Pac-Man. I got that from an old friend of ours back from the old neighborhood. Oh. Talking about... The quiet type kind of guy. You know, our old friend. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I haven't heard from him since, like, before the pandemic. How is he doing? Did he say much? Uh, As always. He didn't say anything. I get you. Not much. But, uh, yeah, it was good to connect with him. And he reached out. He said, uh, 
how's this for an intro? And I said, this is beautiful. It's like Michelangelo himself made it. It was kind of like a Michelangelo type made it. He's just got to watch out for those birds on his head. I definitely think he should watch out for the birds on his head. Um, but I bet he's kind of, yeah, I bet he still likes to play, uh, Nintendo on his, uh, Xbox. Birds will fall. Hey, Birds Peck. will fall, but they'll fall on their head. Yes, Gabagool. You know what else is spectacular about this episode? What else is spectacular? I got some more fan mail. Oh. But this, my friends, is a birthday present from an anonymous fan. If you could believe that. Was it Hornswoggle? Uh, the anonymous it's a little too big for him. Ah, got it. So, drum roll, please, as we unwrap this birthday present for Gabagool from an un- anonymous fan. Even baby LaGreca's crying because he didn't get one. What in the fuck is this? Hey, I already used my F-bomb. Knowing, I mean, they know I'm a Nicolas Cage fan, but all right, Blockbuster. Well, what are we knowing? 99. You think this thing's inflation proof? I don't know, but what are we knowing about inflation when you really think about it? Well, anonymous fan, thank you. So there's no letter, no note, nothing saying, giving a hint. That's it. It's just a DVD of knowing. What's in the what's in the box? I don't know. I can't get it open. It's well, like that's, it's glued shut. That's not good. Oh, it's like it's glued. I gotta get a screwdriver, pry it open. Well, you do that. And while you do that, I want to talk about the sponsor of this episode. We got a lot of sponsors. Like sponsors oh. were knocking on our door going on about wanting to be part of the fourth episode spectacular and this fourth episode is brought to you by well let me start it with a pitch hey gabagool you flew to las vegas lately recently bet your ass i did looks like you had a good time and and but would it have been nice to be able to bring a regular size water bottle on the flight not allowed oh great setup because this episode is sponsored by brooks burna brand water so no way yeah way so when you're done with the brooks burna brand water it gives you a taste it'll just make you float all the way up to the ceiling and you're not coming down even though even if you drank it in february you'll be up there at least until may Holy shit. Holy shit indeed. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy, Holy shit. shit. Holy, Holy shit. shit. Holy, Holy shit. shit. And hey. if you or and if you order today, we'll throw in a free ceiling tile from St. Joe's Park. Absolutely <laughs> oh free. Just order with the promo code stuck in the stuck at St. Joe's for 69% off. 69. Nice. nice. Let me ask you something, Pac-Man. Is the Brooks Burna water bottle, it's TSA approved, correct? You're damn right it is. So they're not going to hassle me? Let's put it this way. Would a TSA agent want to mess with a very angry Christian Rose? Maybe Bucky Collins is a TSA agent. Well, let's hope not because, I mean, how can he walk around wearing no shoes in TSA? Well, actually, no, it would fit because... It would have to go through the metal detectors. You got to take the shoes off. Yes, yes. Yes. I've right. only I've only flown a grand total of one time in my life, and that I do know for sure. Well, Pac-Man. Yes, sir. Since, you know, I, I got an anonymous birthday present, and, and you recently had a birthday pass by not too long ago. Acromania, baby. Acromania, number 29. I don't 29. know what numerals, even though I'm Italian. Well, I just made it 20 because it's been 20 years since I lived in the suburbs and IX for nine. I'm a genius. So in order to make this episode spectacular and pay it forward to you, 
I booked a whole bunch of guests, celebrity oh. guests. Okay, celebrities come on this podcast. Ooh. You know, I I can't even reveal who they are just yet because uh, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll bring them in one by one. That works for me, man. That works for me. And knowing how much I know your love of uh, good old fashioned rock and roll. Ooh. One of our first guests. Honky talk, man. Kind of. He's the king of rock and roll. I knew a guy who knows a guy who shared a cab with another guy who might have gone to prison with another guy. I booked Elvis Presley. Uh, but Elvis is a is a honky tonk man ripoff. He's a wannabe honky tonk man. Oh, the first guest is coming into the room. Let me check the Hold dais. on. I'm going to let him in. I don't see him on here, Pac, man. Wait. Hold on. Oh, shit. That's not Elvis Presley. You are not Elvis Presley at all. Oh, wait, aren't you Travis T? What the Travis hell? T, the JFW podcast. Wait, I'm better. on that podcast. Travis, I'm surprised you didn't wait until next Monday to come and see me. Well, that's cool. What are you Travis. talking about, man? You knew I was coming. I didn't know at all. I got an email saying that I was invited to uh, this episode, uh, so that's why I'm here. That's weird. Gabagool, did you invite Travis T? Well, I mean, I, said, I know you guys get along and all. Oh, hell yeah, we get along. He's the yeah, shit. This, this is the best guy out of the LIM. The only thing I can think of is, Travis, is your email address elvispresley1 at gmail.com? No, because I'm not an idiot or a child. What? No. Well, what? he didn't get it from me, Pat. Huh. Well, <laughs> interesting. Interesting. Hold on. Hold on. But, but, well, hold, on, well, well, hold on. Hold on. So your idea is you're inviting Elvis onto this show. Yes. I, I was. He's. A, I was mad because it. I mean, like I was thinking when he's talking about the king of rock and roll, I'm thinking honky tonk man, and Elvis is just a honky tonk man ripoff. Elvis is dead, bro. He dead? When that happen? Dude, oh, my God, this this is Abagool. When did you did you hear about this? This this is this is why this is why I told myself I'd never come on this show. Dude, I I don't know. I got an email from somebody at LIM saying that you know I, I'm being invited on, and I was like, God, I really I really don't you know now, but. I figured since, you know, you are part of JFW and you're on my podcast. I am. That I would do, you know, I would I would give you the honor of having me here on your show. But clearly, I'm not supposed to be here. Well, I mean, you're here. We're happy no, to yeah, celebrate yeah, the fourth episode spectacular. Don't get us dude, wrong. Don't, you got to quit calling it that. You said that shit on Monday and now it... I. God. Well, it is. It's pretty spectacular, isn't it, Travis? Well, now it is. Yeah, because you're here. See? But, Yay! But that, that was the whole reason I thought it was spectacular is because I was coming on and being invited. But clearly I'm not supposed to be here, so I'm kind of confused on what's so spe uh, spectacular about this. Well, I mean, let's be honest. We've had our differences over the past year so far. Well, and that was mostly your fault. Well, no, I mean, you kind of started it by telling I, us to I go fuck ourselves. I, I started nothing. You kind of started it, though. Absolutely not. I'm not the one that, you know, started putting out stupid uh, videos on Facebook. Like, oh, we need to rage war and wave one is going to kill. Yeah, that, that stupid stuff. No, I, that wasn't me. I hey, man, my... If I may interject, you made us storm the beaches of Richmond Park to go up against Travis T. You sure yeah. did. Yeah, that was on you, man. Yeah, and, and the thing was, like, I mean, I didn't have a problem with all of the LIM, but you, you decided to tell everyone all these horrible things that, you know, that I supposedly said about them. Luckily, you know, Tony, and welcome back. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad, I'm glad that there's a host of this show with some, you know, respect and some elegance and class to you. So, you know, I, I thank yeah, you for sure. being back. I'm the goddamn Tiger King, okay? Oh, God, man, so beautiful. Gorgeous. I, I I'm trying my best, you know, to honor you guys' F word 
thing by not swearing. So I'm pretty proud of myself for that. Yeah, great fucking job, Travis. Shut the hell up, you idiot. Wait, you're telling me to shut up on my show? I am telling you I to like shut tell up. Me to... I am telling you to shut up on your own show. What were you doing with the Gabagool hat on? It's the Chet Gunderson hat. Yeah, this one's a Gabagool. It's a Wrangler. Uh, we, we, we met this guy, Thomas Foolery. Great guy. Just everything and he really stupid. liked my hat. You are you are such an idiot. That was weird. This is this this is the thing, man. I oh my god, I hate you so much. I love you too, man. Shut up. Just just stop talking. Can I let me let me talk to Tony for a second here? Let's All right, I'll shut up. Thank you, Tony. I, I, I the only reason I came out was because of you. You know, like I was all as soon as I saw the email, I'm like, oh god, if Giggle Monster is gonna be there, I'm out. And then uh, and Fat Boy Summer, if he showed up, I wasn't gonna you know hang around here unless unless that hot girl you know was here. Oh, you, you mean know, Zoe? Sure, who cares? Damn. Um, but the fact that uh, you know, I sat here and I made plans for today, and I was like, okay, I got things I gotta do, but I'm gonna make sure I have some space available, pump onto the LIM's podcast because I was invited and found out that I wasted my day planning everything out to be here for something I wasn't supposed to be here. It, it doesn't surprise me because of your leadership skills because that makes a lot of sense because you know oh here's pac-man running the show and i show up and i wasn't even invited you have no idea who's even coming on your show I'll, yeah well, what, what well, kind well, of leadership is that i mean look he booked a whole bunch of guests for us that wanted to celebrate the momentous who, fourth who booked episode it? who booked it Ta- gabagool he had, a whole li- it? he had a whole lot Real of guys. Kevin Palmer. He had a whole lot of guys that he wanted on our show to celebrate our it's it's a it's 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 momentous. I mean, how many shows make it to four episodes? Did the Simpsons make it to four episodes? No, I don't think so. They made it to like over seven hundred. So like we have to celebrate our victories. This is this is why. This is why people don't like you. Because you say stupid things all the time. Hey, Tone, you like me even though I say stupid things all the time? Uh, sometimes you say meaningful things. Your I father s- would agree with that. I would say oh, uh, oh, pie. Wait, oh, let, let, me, let me try that. Let me try that. Hey, Gabagol, do you like him that he made uh, Giggle Monster uh, number two? It's fucking bullshit. Hey, Giggle Monster, do you like that he's trying to rage a war against JFW and in the middle of the war he takes a vacation to go play a piano? It was a play with piano. himself, probably. Hey, 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 Gabagol, do you like him that he makes this like huge like WrestleMania party and he just goes and hangs out in his bedroom the entire time? Typical. Well, I mean, you guys, you and Gila were out of line and we talked about that, but that's water under the bridge. That's Beer through I, the tonsils. I don't, I don't, I don't think it is. I, I think the problem is, is, is that there's an issue inside the LIM, and instead of being a leader and you know working on it, you're just like, eh, it figure itself out. It'll be fine. That's not leadership. Well, here's the thing: we don't have any issues in LIM. I mean, outside of like me and Double J, you have you an know, abundance that, of that, issues that, in the that, LIM. That time with Gila and Gabagool, now Danny and Gabagool. Outside of that, we're golden, baby. So hey, outside man. of outside of your problems, you have no problems. You got it. You understand? <laughs> you're understanding me now that I'm on. You, I'm, I'm on your. You show. are you're me. You are a moron. You are an absolute moron. Like I'm sorry, man. I mean, I, I, to an extent, I respect you because you're going out on a limb. You're trying something here with the lovely and toxic podcast. Shut up. You're, you have the genius to have a good co-host that could bring some credibility to this in Gabagool. You almost blew that with, you know, Giggle Monster last week with his, with his amazing interview skills of just staring at shit. Bravo on that one. And then, and, and then you talk about like how Turtle's part of the LIM because you inducted them into it and everything. But then you listen to episode two, and JJ was never inducted. And that's your boy of 20-something years. Well, you know, here's the thing. We have another sponsor. And, you know, hey, Tony Gabagool, 
you ever get a runny nose, kind oh. of dry eyes that <laughs> cause your eyes to water? How do I, how that do doesn't I make it any sense. Oh, you can't do it. You're on my show. God, I gotta be able to fucking mute this. This is stupid. So, this ladies stupid. and gentlemen, introducing Travis T. Brand Tissues, because let's be honest, that guy can't stop crying about the LIM. Yeah. Put in the promo code Travis T. Sucks, and that's this isn't going to bite me in the ass on Monday for 30% off your order. Hey, Gabigo, do you like that he does a promo but doesn't stare at the camera the entire time he does it? Like he's trying to look for his tissues? I'm assuming they're on your nightstand in your bedroom if you need to go get them. They're almost out, probably. Oh, trust me. 100%. Mostly mostly tears, of course, because we know he's alone for the remainder of his pathetic life. But, Gabigo, uh-huh. how what kind of podcast do you go around like, oh, let me talk about things and let me try to promote things as I'm staring at everything but the fucking camera in front of you. You, I brought you onto my show to try to help you be a better person in life. And instead of taking that, you just you fuck up every time you come back from away from me. Like, you just forget everything. Like the, like the brain capacity of a dog, bro. All you got to do is stare at the camera and do your show. But no, I was like, we're brought to you by tissues. You moron. Again, save 30% off. Butterflies. Again, save 30% off your order. You are. God, I hate you so much. You know what? I'm not going to use the promo code because Travis does not suck. Okay? I'll pay full price. That's right. I'm, I'll give you a box if I had Travis T tissues. Because the T stands for tissue. Travis Tissues. Travis Tissues. See? You see how that? I made a better plug than you did, fucking Pac-Man. Travis, do you have anything you want to uh, you want to plug before you go? I want you to clean your fucking camera. I've been telling you to do that for God knows how long. Oh, God. I mean, you can listen to my show, Just Freak Wrestling, the JFW Podcast, wherever you listen to podcasts, because we are incredible. Even with Pac-Man on there, he hasn't screwed it up for me yet. That's true. I haven't. I pre- I appreciate you wasting my time and uh, bring me on for apparently no reason. This has been very productive. We should do this again. You're an idiot. No, you are an idiot. I want, I want everyone here listening. Listen to Gabagool when he talks, you can mute the parts out. And I believe that's why God put trains in your life, Pac-Man to mute your fucking annoying ass mouth. Every time a train comes by, it's probably the most beautiful thing in the world. Hey, Travis, I got a question quit, for you. Quit shaking your camera. My Tra- God, professional. What, man? What's the last sound a sardine hears before the can closes? I, I don't know what. Where'd he go? Where? Well, that sucked. He does that to me all the time on, uh, on his show. So uh, we're going to call that a receipt. So, um... Well, that was something, huh? Uh, I need a minute to Sorry press. about the whole Elvis, Travis. Yeah. Mix up. yeah. Oh, they do kind of sound the same. So it's who do we who do we got next, man? Okay, so next, um, you're a fan of Canadian wrestling, correct? Ooh, I'm worried where this is going, but yeah, I do. Well, there was a wrestler who hasn't been seen for a while. He's kind of been out of the scene, maybe hanging around somewhere. I booked him to come on, if you can believe that. Oh, my God. You got Bret Hart? Let's go. Okay. All right. Bret Hart's my favorite. I met him last uh, October, uh, October, so I'm going to let him in now. Pac-Man, I hate to kill your vibe, but it is not Bret Hart. Wait. It is. Wait. Who is that? Is that? Oh, oh Jesus. God. Hey, wait, you're the guy on my shirt. You, I, we can't hear you. I'm, we're, you're wearing, you must be wearing a towel. We there can, we go. Can, can you hear me now? Unfortunately, we can, Damian Gray. How are you? Oh, let me tell you, man, I have had a day. I had to steal this laptop from a college student, right? I heard that uh, heard that you guys had a little podcast going on, a little bit of uh, a show here. And I wanted to uh, make a little bit of a scene because all the crap you've caused me. So I ended up stealing this college girl's laptop. Take it all the way home. Flash is over here for hours helping me set it up. Listen, 
thing. Wait, is he, dad there? No, he left because he didn't want to deal with you. He's not his dad, oh, but we'll get to that. Damn. We'll get to that. Yo, but please. he was over here for hours. This whole greasy thing, it, it ain't just an act, all right? I am terrible with technology. So we got the phone going instead. I just uh, couldn't wait to tell you uh, kiddos off a little bit here. But wait, what did we do to you? I don't, I don't think we've ever done anything to you. I definitely didn't say something about you in the opening act. I think that was Pac-Man. Oh, no. No, I didn't say anything. I said that you wore the Dave. I had the Damian Gray shirt. Something about being the third most relevant Damian in all of RPW. I, I didn't. That this was. is a pretty cool shirt. I'm not going to lie, but you know whose shirt was best? That guy Thomas Foolery, man. That yeah. Malord shirt, out of this world. You guys really are cruising for a bruise and ain't you tonight? Okay, we're not just going to deal with the amount of people who are stealing my name. We will get to that. But we cannot just let an attack on the new IPW League champion like that rest. But first and foremost, I got to address the uh, elephant in the room. Who gave you one of my shirts? Because I don't remember authorizing a sale to you. I don't I don't even think we carry that size. Uh, you know, it just I just I found it. You know, uh huh. Yeah, listen. If you've been buying off these bootleggers, we're gonna have a problem. But I gotta say, at least you have good taste in t-shirts, my friend. Well, appreciate that. I appreciate that. Uh, welcome to the fourth episode, spectacular. Yeah, yeah, pretty uh spectacular. Thanks to me. You're welcome. I, I You're welcome. Would, yeah, yeah. I would I would agree, and I'm not just like shaking and getting all nervous because of that whole uh, Hollywood Boulevard incident or anything. Good. You should be scared, but we're going to move on because the, this is not about you, believe it or not. This may be your show, but you have an idol in your presence. So that means it is all about me. And I have a list of grievances that I would like to address to the LIM and all of their fans. Sound good? All right. All right. Well, we'll uh, we'll humor you. Good, good, good. All right. Next up, time to deal with the disrespect surrounding my name. I'm wearing your shirt. It says your name on it. It's pretty respectful. Yeah, yeah, but I heard something about being the uh, third most relevant Damien in Rocket Pro Wrestling. I didn't say that. That wasn't me. All right, I might have uttered something to the effect of that. Sell each other out a little more, why don't you? Baba Ghoul, you're one of us, man. You're an Italian. I thought you'd be on my side in this. But still, you decide to come after people with a good Italian name like Damien. And you somehow decide that the longest reigning tag team champion in Rocket Pro history, I might add, the one who was in control of the entire company for a year in the IPW League champion, you think I'm the, the third to least relevant? Listen, Mr. Saint may be giving me a good run for my money. That man is a scholar and a gentleman. But Des Chain? Really? That scrawny little bug. You, you're you're going to say that he, he, is a better name, a Damien. He who came into the company after me, might I add, with a different name, comes here. Saito, so, let's steal a little bit of that spotlight. Listen, this may be a thing where people want to follow my lead and start naming themselves Damien after me. One thing is for certain. There are a lot of Damien's, yeah. There may be many, but none are old school cool. So let's get that straight. It is only I, only me, and I stand on top. So we're going to get that out and away fast. Me and Saint, we're up there. But don't don't you dare sully. Don't dare sully a good name by associating us with one of those little varmints, them little coyotes. All right. Sound good. But the biggest point that I want to address is what happened recently over at IPW in these last couple months. You uh, you remember? Uh... Remember that, man? I was drunk, so I don't remember much from those nights. Oh, that sounds about right. That sounds about right. Listen, I just want to address the fact that you've been messing with me and Flash, mind you, playing these stupid little mind games, following us around, stalking us to other companies and claiming some weird pseudo incestuous relationship with Flash Harris. What, What is that about? It, it, he's our dad. Our I mean, C Red is our grandfather. Oh, don't even get me started on Red. We're not going to address that even tonight. Let's oh, move you back mean the fact flash. that don't he'll get me started. I mean, you'll you'll get to face him in August for the for the league title. 
Don't you say that trader's name. I'm okay with him. We can talk about it with him. Don't you say that trader's name again. He used to be smart. Red used to be smart. He used to know how the world worked. But he had this little change of heart. And he lost his host. You see, Red's, Red's a little bit like a parasite. He lost his host with the rest of the ARC. Now he's just a shriveled old dying little worm waiting to be put down. But don't say his name. This is Damien's time. Damien's. Not he who shall not be named. We won't talk Which about Traitors C-Red. coming after my belt. T- don't worry. We're not going to say C-Red. Say We're not going to talk anymore. about C-Red. Nothing about C-Red. We got you, buddy. We got you. You're pushing it. You're pushing All right. it. All right. From here on out, from this moment on, no more C-Red. I promise. Right, hey, Justin? No C-Red? Back, man. Do you know what they say when the Bulls are in the playoffs? I forgot. Uh, yeah, it's been a while since they were. Uh, I think they say uh, loaded is it like uh, like they want to see red or something. Ah. All right. You know what? Listen, I don't have to take this. I don't have to put up with all your crap. I just need to know what is the deal? What is the deal with your weird obsession with my partner? Even though we had to go head on head to head a little bit ago, my brother. Flash Harris, why are you stalking him and calling him your dad? It's screwing with us. He stays up at night. Wait, you just said that Flash was your brother. So wait, Gabagool? I'm not related to you. No, do you will not know him. Oh, go! Oh, go! Oh, go! Oh, go! Oh, go! Oh, go! Hey, Uncle Damien. Hey, Uncle Damien. Do you know uh, who's sponsoring this part of the podcast? Oh, look no further than the Damian Gray youth baseball T-ball set with the Damian Gray youth size baseball bat comes included. It's a hit for this summer for all the junior sluggers out there. You know what? I got a little something to say after all this. I, I've, I've sat here and put up with your nonsense. First off. That is not a terrible merchandising idea. Oh. I am going to put a copyright on that. And if you try to use it, my lawyers will be in touch. But, 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 Eric Schultz. I definitely do not think you should be uh, doing any business with anything that revolves around kids, Gabagool. From the looks of you, it looks like you're not allowed within 50 yards of a school zone. Pac-Man, I don't need to deal with you. All right. I'm sick of your weird obsession. I'm sick of you calling me your pick and calling my partner your dad. I have one more thing to ask, and I'm out of here and out of your hair. Because I can see that coming on here was a mistake and that you guys are just too drunk to even be reasoned with. I got one question for you. Since you have been coming down to IPW and you have been behind the scenes a few times now with your weird new press badges, I will still jump you backstage, by the way, if I see you back there, press badge or not. But you've had some access, and I need to know, do you have any info on Johnny? I need to know what the situation is here, all right? He's been screwing with me in IPW. He won't answer my calls. I had to reach out to him a couple times on social media. He won't even answer that. Do you know what's going on? Well, if I might add, it sounds like people named John never pick up their phone. Yeah, well, that's another thing for another time. Um, But... uh... Damien, thank you for celebrating our fourth episode spectacular with us. Hey, you didn't answer my question. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know anything. But thank you for coming on. All right, I'm out of here. Listen, I, I don't need your thanks. I don't need nothing. You're welcome. I'm Audi. Good night. Good, good, How do I turn this thing Good night, off? Uncle Damien. I hate you both, and I'm not your uncle. Good night, Uncle. We'll turn off. All right, I got you. What a cool uncle he is, you know? Yeah, he's such a cool uncle. He's All like right. that drunk uncle that keeps holding your head under the water at the family pool party. Oh, man. All right. So, um, in any case, I guess, it looks like we have another guest or two. For two. Hold on. Don't tell me who this is. I'm, I'm just sort of, like, fully expecting just something crazy. Well, listen, because... Oh, I- no. Are you oh. kidding me? I booked the Blues Brothers, not the Boo Brothers. Oh, no. Oh, God. Santino's not going to shut up about this. Oh, are you kidding me? Brian? What the hell do you want? Brian Crazer. Oh, Oh, are you kidding? Joey, too? 
Oh, I was told to come here. We'll talk about anime. So we we'll talk about anime. Yeah, we're here. Why else we're here? Anime. Yes. You mean those like books of Japanese uh, cartoons? So you're telling me you lied to me? I lied to you. I I have no idea. Gabagool, who did you book for this? Uh, I thought it was uh, Dan Aykroyd and uh, J- John Belushi, but apparently I'm mistaken. We got Joey Blues, and we got Brian Crazier of No Coast. Well, so now we'll take it, I guess. I, I think so. I mean, they did um, kidnap Chet this season. We had to pay a ransom, all of that. Um, guys, welcome to the fourth episode Spectacular, I guess. How come you don't have our poster in the background? Uh, you know, Santino stole them. Santino did. It was pri- I, we blame Santino. So now that I have I you guys on, me. I'm just going to say this. As an act of goodwill, I'm going to resist the urge to blame you guys for anything that goes wrong going forward on this show. You came oh, on- you just you just signed a waiver you wish you would have never signed. Hey, okay. Pac-Man, there was, a, there was a tornado that touched down in Aurora today. Did you hear about that? I heard about that, but, you know, don't worry. Like, the storm is cleared up. I slammed that tornado. I slapped it. I found my friend Matt. We slapped it. And, uh, yeah, all taken care of. Mm-hmm. I wonder who's to blame you for it. Slap the taste out oh. your own mouth. What you going on about? I, I don't, you know, I blame Mother Nature. Talk about eating fried chicken or something. I don't know. Hi, Joey. How's the weather, well, Tom Skilling? You know, when we show up to uh, invade a little Zoom meeting, we don't expect to be in a waiting room. Nonetheless, a virtual waiting room? When we knock, you open the door. You got that? Well, I mean, you don't necessarily open the door for um, kidnappers, but, you know. Alleged. Alleged kidnapping. We all we saw it happen. We were part of that entrance. That, 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 we took him for a stroll. You don't know what happened. You threw him. We, we saw what happened. You threw him over the cliff. You you put him on the train tracks. You punched him in the face. You left him in the garbage can outside of St. Joe's Park. It's not our fault that Chet loves hanging around in garbage cans. Mm. Oh, something you gotta talk you guys to about. are really, really pushing me to make sure that I break my promise, and I'm I'm gonna do my best not to. Wish you don't would. worry. We blame LIM, so it's all good. Oh God! All right, I blame the the Rocket Boys. Rocket Boys. We yeah, blame them. Rocket Girls. Yeah, the Rocket Girls. And uh, you know what? Got Where are they, by the way? I thought this was the White Girl Wasted podcast. Where's the other half of White Girl Wasted? Eh. I don't know. We told we keep telling Santino to shut up at the end of every show, so it's um, you know I think he took the hint. Is is Santino in the waiting room right now, just in purgatory, never to let be let in? He's in a type of purgatory, I would say, for you know, supporting alleged kidnappers, if that's what you want to call it. So, fellas, you're back on the same page. What does next season hold for you? Well, we got to take care of the rest of us and get our soul back on the same page. If not, then we just got to take them out. <laughs> one way to do it. That Pac-Man, is one way to do take, it. Take their advice for the LIM. We can't work our shit out. Take each other out. And well, you know, out. I don't know if I'd want to bring us to Davis and Sarai considering, <laughs> you know, the fact that uh, we'll have you know we I'm have still graduated that program. Congratulations, you know they're in and order. And we are no longer Wish the diplomas look a little nicer, time. but the congratulations are, I guess, in order for that. Um, and that last show, I mean, you did beat Shaw, and now you got Wolf on your side now. Well, we never said we had Wolf on our side. Well, I mean, he totally did, kind of, you know, attack Shaw after the match. Which is great. Well, it was maybe, hilarious. Maybe he was just doing the right thing after all. Eh, I don't know. I no, don't know. I mean, uh, let's say, you, I, I take it you have family, right? You have your boys, you have your crew. Mm-hmm. Sure do now, have my crew. Call them, when you call them to the races, 
you expect them to be ready to fight, right? At the races? Now, if we now if they get there and they don't like what you're doing and they disagree with you and then they try to interrupt, is that family? Is that family? Are those your boys? Are those your boys then? Uh no, you know, I can kind of, I guess I can sort of see the point. I don't necessarily agree with the logic, but I can kind of see where you're coming from. You see, hey, I don't care if you see where we're coming from. All right, we, I, we've given you guys enough, enough respect, and you guys have never given it back. So respecting y'all is done now. Well, so here, we respect. I don't care what you think of the situation. I'm just telling you how it is. Well, All I mean, right? we, we did. called in our family for backup, and they disagreed with us. So screw them, all right? Just like you guys. You guys were all no-coast at first, and then we do one little thing you guys disagree with, and now we're your mortal enemies? Get out of here with that. I mean, it was attacking our boy Chuck Gunderson. I mean, we kind of had to stand up your for boy, him. He was, he was our boy long before yours. Well, then you you just attacked him out of just nowhere. I mean, he was celebrating with you guys in the ring when you guys made up. I mean, you he was celebrating no, with you guys when he won the tag Exactly. Hold on, hold on. What, when we reunited, when me and Brian, me and Brother B are finally on the same page, what gets chanted across the stadium? Huh? What gets chanted across St. Joe's? Shit. The hell did he do? We worked it out. We worked it out. And instead of chanting, no coast is finally back together, well, that's a little long. I'll agree. Or at least just no long, coast. A little lengthy. And I write predictions, but, so that I know lengthy. But, uh, yeah, you guys all chanted for shit. Like, he was, uh, Jesus just descending from the rafters. Just all his doing, right? Right. We're not worthy. We're not worthy when it comes to When he to came Gunderson. down through the rafters, do you think he could have grabbed that water bottle that's been lodged up there for months? Well, he tried to when he jumped himself off the bridge. He tried to jump for it, but he missed him. No, no, no. I'm pretty sure that's not what happened. And I'm pretty I'm sure. I'm pretty sure it did. I, I'm pretty sure I know who to. to no, no, I, I can't say it. I promise myself restraint. Namaste. Can't blame. I blame no coast. I blame him. Oh. I blame him. It's all your fault. It's all your fault. You did it. Lied to twice. Lied to twice. Lie to twice. First you hey. tell me we're going to talk about anime. Then you say you're not going to blame us, and you did. I didn't say Dang. we were going to talk about anime. Yes, you did. I don't even, I don't I even remember emailing. Who did? Gabagool. Who handled the guest list? I, you know, I passed it on to your brother or somebody. Oh, Jesus. All right, that's another problem we're going to have to solve on this episode, I guess, later on. Like you said, it's time for LIM to throw hands and figure out who actually is LIM, it sounds like. I mean, LIM is fine. We all get along. We we do. I mean, we do our best. It's like an episode of Maury that no one wants to watch. The problem is you're not living up to the LIM name. Why aren't you guys drunk? If you were drunk, everything would be fine. I got old style. I got four cans of old style. I'm you're on. not slurring your words yet. You're not drunk. Now, listen here. How's that, uh, you know, hard Mountain Dew treating you guys since we're on the topic? We ain't going to talk about that. Oh. You know, we finally graduate this therapy program that Damien Taint made us go oh, to. Oh, I like that. I like that. And then we finally get out of this therapy program where we're not allowed to partake in all the fun in life. And then what happens? We go to crack open a cold one and they're not there. And you know why they're not there? Why aren't they there? Because you damn well know why they're not there. Because the rest of no coast who for some reason fancies you guys came into our stash and stole it hold on we got another guest in the waiting room right now and it's not santino for the record actually been gone real quick and this Ah. is someone that i really need to talk to right now figure this out hey dan 
got a question for you. We what do you no, want? We have no coast on the LIM podcast. Mm-hmm. Justin said you sent the emails. You sent it to the right people, right? You told me we we're going to talk about anime. Yeah, dude. I thought that's oh fuck, dude. That's that's tomorrow, man. Oh my god, that's tomorrow, dude. Yeah. Okay, Sorry, and we bad. also had Damian Gray, and we had Travis T on here, and. Justin wanted Elvis, who I think is a honky tonk man ripoff, and we had uh, who yeah, else? Uh, we're gonna have the Blues Brothers uh, and Bret Hart. We had uh, all of those guys uh, lined up. We had yeah. we had Bret Hart. Something tells me like that's a that's a bunch of uh, bullshit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, having the ghost of Belushi would be uh quite extraordinary. Yeah, it would. would uh, it would be crazy. That would be interesting. Um. But guys, anything you want to plug before you go? You joined I us do. for our fourth episode, spectacular. Uh, we want to see if you want to plug anything. Uh, I here, you guys do cool. my oh, best, Brian. We've worked <laughs> on this. <sighs> go ahead, Brian. You go. I was gonna say they claim to be the kings of Surmac, but they haven't shown up to an All Star Lucha Libre show in Berwyn, Illinois. Where are you Berwin. guys? Taking over Barwin. Well, it looks like we may have to go there what? and when's the next show, fellas? I'm writing it down. Then write that September. down. September? Yep. Official date to be confirmed later. Yep. Keep an eye on the no coast page. You know we're always sharing where we're going. We sure will. We sure will. Guys, um, I want to say it was a pleasure. To nope. have you guys on, but don't lie to people. I don't, want don't lie to. to people. Well, I don't I want think it to. Was eye opening. I think I learned a few things. I appreciate you, Joey. And, uh, you, I, you know, I still blame you. I still do. Go ahead. Like I said, the number one thing to blame us for is going to be the success of this episode. I'll tell you that much. I mean, it's going to be a successful I, I episode on the I'll back of Thomas Foolery himself. Yes, Tom. What a Tom's guy. great. Tom's great. He's a cool, cool dude. Well, gentlemen, it was been nice having you on. And this is where we part, and we'll see you in September, and we look forward to blaming you for more shit that goes wrong next season. And next time we see you in the ring, we're going to break your leg. Well, let's hope not. Bring it on. Bring it on. It's not hard to break legs. Why do people think it's hard? Well, they did that to Mikey Osiris, Dan, you know. Yeah, with Sea Rider. You don't don't want to, you don't really want to. Anyway, thank you guys for joining us for the fourth episode, Spectacular. And uh, we'll see you down the road. Yeah, we'll see you in September. See you then. See you then. See you then. Gabagool, listen here, buddy. Listen here. I want you to understand something, all right? I really Wait, do. wait. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. We just had another uh, participant come into the call. Hey! Um, wait, is this... Just... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Let's make this right, you know? Give me a second. Dave, what is wrong with you? What's wrong wrong with you? There he is. It's Smiley McGee. He's no longer Gila. He decided he's going to rebrand himself as Smiley McGee because look at him. Look at the smile on that guy. Look at the smile on that second in command of the LIM. Hey, hey, Pat, Pat, shut up. Champ's talking. Gabagool. I needed you. I need you to yeah, learn something. I need belt? you to look me in the eyes when I'm talking to you. What belt? I you think I'm gonna wear that piece of trash that you pulled out of Baby Lagreca's diaper? Nah, nah, Gabagool. I eat chumps like you for dinner. All right. That's cannibalism. And, yeah. I ain't no no. I ain't a Gabagool. And frankly, you spelled your last name wrong. Now it's spelled right. Yeah, you spelled it right. You did spell it wrong, Gabagool. No. It's, no, it's, that's how it's, you spell it. Go no, it's, no, it's, it's, it's G-O-U-L. G-O-U-L. No, it's spelled with a C. You fake Italian. Ha! Capricola. So, I get that. Ridiculous. Oh, ridiculous. You know, ridiculous. Listen. Of being yeah. a fake Italian. Yeah. Did you get my gift that I sent you, Mr. Gavagol? Your gift? Wait, did you send him the video? No, the, the, the gift, you know. Yeah, the this, DVD, you know, the DVD birthday of knowing? It was his birthday, you know, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, this, that oh. came in the mail? Yeah, it's that. From you? That's your birthday gift. Well, now I'm not going to watch Wait, it. Wait, you're not Hornswoggle? You're not the anonymous <laughs> raw general gift giver? 
Gabagool, I need you to realize something. You never mess. You don't throw rocks at a man with a shotgun. Wait, wait, Dan, hold on. We're, we're working on something here. Wait, I, hold, I, on, I, hold on, hold on. Gabagool, you're like the most popular guy in this uh, in this podcast right now. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously. Obviously. As always. I mean, Travis did say you're the number one guy in LIM. Danny, you're actually coming in at number two on Travis's list. I don't know where I rank, to be honest with you. I think at the bottom. But I know, I mean, no, I Smiley McGee's the, the last. Smiley McGee. <laughs> Smiley McGee's the bottom bitch of the LIM. You know what I will agree with Travis T on? Uh, uh, plenty of things, but you guys are a bunch of crayon eaters. Listen. He did listen, so you can't tell him to go fuck himself. The the window liquor over there, Danny, you called me a fake Italian. Smart. You might be fucking McGee calling me a fake Italian. Once I, and for all, I'm going to take this test. I got the test right here to prove that I'm Italian. Yeah, prove it. All right. These things are kind of tricky. So. On that backward. Tricky like Nikki, am I right? Right, all guys? Right, so uh, uh. I guess the first thing you do is you insert this into the nostril and you you spin it and you twirl it for 15 seconds. Woo! I, I don't know what Woo! DNA test you've been taking, but it looks like, never mind, never mind. I'm having flashbacks one, to a one, couple of years ago. Okay, we'll go with that. Okay, now you put it in here. All right, hold on. The extraction buffer. All right, Bruce's brother. Bruce Buffer extraction. That, I I I I got it, Gabagool. Also, I didn't call you a fake Italian, even though you are the third. Uh, I still you know, never did. You know, we call you a fake Italian. Italian. Oh. All right, then you open up this machine. It's spelled Gabagool, right? It's Gabagool. It's Gabagool. All right, it's and then spelled you, with a C. Then it's you. A- you take this device. I think Bill Shelley will take issue with that. Well, he might take issue with this. This is some high with a C. Shit. It is. Look it up. So then you pour this in here, and then in 15 minutes, we'll have our results. 15 yeah. minutes? It I will gotta sit here. I got to sit here for 15 minutes talking to you crayon eaters. Oh, my on God. The, well, you can talk to us on the fourth episode spectacular. My eyes look very creepy. That's how excited I am. Because I'm oh, about to Oh, really? Yo, oh, oh, shut up, Pat. Shut up, Pat. So, here's the thing. I have a major announcement that I want to make because uh, I want to make sure... Oh I'm going to go get another beer. Well, wait. Hold on. No, no. You got to wait for this announcement. Okay, we're going to wait. And wait a second. Waiting, I need to think... I need to ask a question for Gabagool. So, what was on the box for that test? Because I have my doubts, brother. Oh, shit. What? It's a COVID antigen test. Oh, my. Dude, that's not how you test for DNA. Come on, bro. Learn to read. Learn to read? Smiley, why are you sending me this movie? Huh? Is there, like, something to it? I couldn't... Because I know the truth. I know the truth. How do you you know? know You know the truth. What do you know? What do you know that they don't know? That you're not Italian? So you conveniently put the actual DNA test inside of this? Is this your plot? Mm -hmm. I'm going to do it, Pac-Man. I'm going to prove once and for all that I am F-B-I, full-blooded Italian. I was going to say that wouldn't make sense for you to be the Federal Bureau of Investigations. Even with your uh, criminal degree. Yeah, and, and record. Hey, we and, don't talk about that no more. It's yeah. Yeah, yeah we don't. Away. All I'm saying away. is keep this, guy's, keep this guy away from some pumpkins. All right. Now you're pushing buttons, kid. I will say, Tony, I, I do have some. I do have some. Tony, I do have some respect for you. You did save my brother at the sock, sock hop when he got busted for those fake cigarettes. Let me ask you something, Smiley. Why are there so many swabs in this? You know, we got to make sure that we got enough DNA to prove the, you know, that, you know, the facts are the facts. Here, I got one for you back here, too. 
Hey, 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 this is a PG show where we say fuck like a lot of times, so it's basically an R-rated show, so I guess that's okay. Last one. How long does it take to get this result back, Smiley? Uh, you said it was 15 minutes. Could be 15 minutes, could be an hour, could be three days, four days. And why am I mailing it off? Because, you know, we got to send it to a scientist. All right, well, here it is. Well, you know... I'm something of a scientist myself, dude. Wow. I, I I fucking love oh. I I fucking love Willem no. Dafoe and Spider Man. That's didn't, all didn't I'm it saying. Say, um, he asked Labs on that envelope or something. That's the other goal. Yes, it does. PX Laboratories, laboratory. No relation. No relation. He's Pac Man yeah. now. No, I, I'm still you know, PX. No, he's, he's said, Oh wait, he Dan took the glasses off. This is getting serious. You said oh, it was, Lord. hold on, what was the laboratory's name again? PX Laboratories. Okay. Hear me out here. I've heard a rumor about PX Laboratories. You want to know what they have there? What do they got? Time machine. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I heard it, they never finished it because they were too busy hanging out in Champaign-Urbana neglecting their friends when crisis was happening. Yeah, you know, I heard, I heard the same thing. You think that it's going to take a, a chair shot to the gut to shut me up about the mole and the LIM? You think uh, I forgot about that, that I just let that go? And Danny, you're just as uh, guilty as him until I prove you innocent. What did I do again? While you were off on your hiatus, okay, doing whatever you do, hanging out at the Hot Topic or the Guitar World or something. I was I was breaking hearts. Get it right. I'm sure. I'm sure. Breaking Someone, hearts, drinking old styles, you know, looking for things that you guys can't do. We drink, I'm literally drinking an old style. Not as much as I can. I could drink I way more old style coke. than you. I oh, rum and coke? Styles. Yes, I'm moving on to rum and coke because I, I got to deal with you. Oh, my God. You know what? And Smiley, as I was saying, while you were off on hiatus, yeah, he doesn't give a shit. The, the see, guys, to the fans, whoever's watching this, he doesn't care about any of you. He just walked off. Did he just walk out of his own room? You know, if he's leaving, he can just turn off the... Anyway. Um, I feel like this is like a weird live cam of my brother, which I realize sounds very weird. Fuck you, Gabagool. <laughs> Fuck you, Gabagool. Yeah, yeah. Oh! Oh, no! Danny's got corona. Oh, oh too God. soon? Too soon? Too soon, Gabagool, because you took a COVID test. Hold on, I got my results. A... It's almost been 15 minutes. I can tell you, Dr. Fauci, go fuck yourself. What Negative. does it say? Negative for being Italian? Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, treated, I think, but I'm not agreeing. Called it because he couldn't even spell Gabagool right. No, it's G it's G O U L. No, it's C A. Uh, let me pull up the spelling for you. Okay, look, I, I mean, yeah, Obviously, okay. you guys have been eating your uh, writing utensils lately. So you can't even, you don't even know how to spell. So, well. Uh, you know how to share the screen, correct? Yeah, what are you doing? Hold on. Here. I think you're just making stuff up. Uh, to fill time on this episode. That's just my opinion. You th I got the Wikipedia page right here. Oh, man. Like, people can edit that. Oh, my. You know what? Shut up, Pat. Shut up, Pat. Hey, shut up, I'm Santino. putting on my actual glasses so I can actually Shut read. up. Yeah, shut up, Santino. Yeah, hey, shut up, me. Santino. Sit down. No one can see behind you. You know, mom and dad are going to watch this episode and they're going to be mad at you for you bullying your older brother, right? I don't care. Hi, Ma and Pax. I said, yeah. Um, what was I doing again? Hey, Gabagoo. I, we have Ma and Pax. So does that make uh, Gabagool's parents uh, Mama Ghoul and Papa Ghoul? You got it. Uh, what would that make Smiley McGee's parents? Ma McGee and... Maggie, 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 but uh, yeah, no, it's uh, it's crazy, you know. Smiley, 
Well, well, hold on. He may be your brother, but how does that work for, for Dan, though? Well, I mean, he's still... My Dude, we brother. came out of the same mom. What do you mean, how does it work? We're, we're related. Oh, we're not getting into the birds and the bees on the lovely intoxicated <laughs> podcast, just for the record. <laughs> That's, we have children that watch this show where we drop like 10 f just can't, with All I'm saying is our, we share the same mom. So, I mean, it kind of makes sense that we're brothers. Oh, my God. That's so fucking groundbreaking. <laughs> Yeah. Dude, it's, it's almost hey, hey, it's on. almost like was, if we were born, born in the born same year and on the same day, what the we'd be fuck? Wait, listen, wait, what's going on? Listen, let me get you all back on track. April first, <laughs> someone invaded our Facebook page. Mm-hmm. Because of it, I that? had to go out and find somebody. I found a sober, intelligent minded person. The simp. You may uh see the acronym popping up on your screen. You see the simp is here to help because that's what simps do. They help out. I'm well, pretty sure simp- that's not what simps do. I think yeah, simps kind of... Usually, kinda... usually simps are like those people who will like fall for like women and then like do anything they say. Kinda yeah, like, like you, Gabagool. Like me. I mean, what? You nerds couldn't even figure out the binary codes. The what numbers the hell? Spell out that. that what is the hell is that? I brought in my own hacker. To oh, investigate all of the collusion on the Facebook group page. And you know what? What do you mean? hear? What do you say? That damn mole is not going to have his way. What the fuck is going on That's on this step. fourth episode? Spectacular! We've had so many unwanted guests. We have this hacker who sounds kind of like you. Hmm. He's from the old neighborhood. Wait a minute. Did That's he, why it's spectacular. Did did he is he is that who I think that is? May very well be. But if you if you would have opened your eyes for one second and look past all your bullshit and pay attention to what's really going on, you would have saw him at the staircase of the immortals. But you were in your own world playing with your time machine again, my friend. You missed it. That is who I think that is. Great job on the intro. I knew it. I knew it. I, I will give you this. You may be a hacker. Great job on the intro. Um, you are absolutely horrifying to look at. But I think he's gorgeous. I, I don't know about you guys. Kind of frightening to know. Where do we go from here? See, the simp is going to run his own investigation into the LIM. And his one goal, Wait. his one mission, is to tell me who the mole is. Here's my question. Can the third in command authorize an investigation into the rest of the LIM? I can do whatever the hell I Wouldn't want, because I am. first in command material? Well, you Dan, I see up. why you're going at, I, Dan, I see why you're going after him. Yeah, dude. He just uh, he talks and doesn't make sense. I'm with you. I'm with you. So yeah, uh, shut up, Gabagool. So, Simp, um... Oh, hey, the sirens are going off because they know about how much uh, danger everyone's in because I'm present. No, I think you got a tornado warning, buddy, but, like, that's weird because there's no tornadoes in Chicago because I slammed the tornadoes. I slammed them all. No, no, I'm pretty sure Macho Man Randy Savage did that back in 87. That could have been Turtle, who knows? Yeah, it could have been turtle. Could've it could have been turtle. turtle. Um, so this episode, the spectacular, has I guess been something. Mm-hmm. Um, so hey, my bad on the list. Yeah, yeah, I, I, you, 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 anime, anime, anime nights. To, we could have had Elvis, who is a honky tonk man ripoff. Yeah, yeah, I, I mixed up my anime list, and then you you put me in charge of this. You know, uh, I get all I jumbled. Knew Travis was a weeaboo. I knew it. You know, I am a Travis All T right, guy. But I, but I will say, Damian Gray, he didn't strike me as the weeaboo type. Simp, are you a weeaboo? Okay, I'll take that as a yes. Simp doesn't answer bullshit. That was That's a good, I think that was hard-hitting journalism that you can expect from a lovely intoxicated podcast. To find the mole. <sighs> so wait, why do we have a mole again? Uh, yeah, be- because we, we, you know, we didn't take good care of our skin, so it's just kind of hanging there. 
We got to get rid of it. We have a mole because one of these fucking guys in here isn't really LIM. That's well, here's why. here's the thing. Well, you know what? You know what? Obvious. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You know who really isn't LIM? Who couldn't even be bothered to be here? Even though I tried to call him to see if he wanted to be on this show. You know who didn't take the time of day? You know, the last time he was on, who tried to throw me under the bus that suggested that he wasn't part of the LIM, despite the fact that he got to induct Chelsea Gunderson into the LIM. I'm talking about you, Double J. You didn't show up. We wanted you on here to celebrate the fourth episode spectacular. You wanted to just avoid confrontation altogether. Who does that? Who doesn't want to talk out issues and make sure that they are fixed? And you can't even be bothered. You can't even be bothered to show up, Double J. You're too busy with that hot girl, Zoe. Zoe. He's on a roll. You are too busy with Zoe to give a shit about what we're doing here in the LIM. So maybe no wonder why I gave Gila Smiley McGee the honorary use, the induction before you. Mm-hmm. Well, can you but blame him? Look, that man, he's got uh, hot double J summer things, and uh, yeah, I mean, no, I, I haven't seen any of that. He but, promised you know. that. Where is it? Where is hot double J summer? It's everywhere, man. The they said the global temperature was rising. Mm-hmm. Well, I think that's for something else. I think that Torn- was tornado like, alley's obviously moved. I yeah. mean, you know, liquid death. Cool? Wait, liquid death. Dude, come on. Well, come on. You look, you had the, the right colored can, but it's all about old style. You, the you other know, you Did you shit. not listen five minutes ago when I said what his name was? What did I say his name was? The sober, intelligent minded. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. I got the best of both worlds, well, it's baby. It's good to stay hydrated, buddy. I'll agree to that. All right. So, got that all out of my system. I'm just, I'm glad we all. Get along. Danny, Gil, uh, Gabagool, are you good? Have oh, you said I mean him? Differences? Yeah, I mean, I'm the champ. You know, he's not. I, yeah. I think it's pretty pretty subtle here. Right you know, Smile. Gabagool, it ain't over yet. Yeah. All right. All right. We're going we're gonna to have something. We'll figure it out yeah. when we get there, though. Yeah. Yeah. It's all here. Cute. You're a fucking clown. You're a fucking clown. I can't wait to smack (laughs) your fucking nose off. You know what? You know what? You talk all this talk. Come back to the old neighborhood. Why would I go there? Why would I go there? That place is awful, man. Old neighborhood? I moved. I got out of there. Wait, are you trying to say that Joliet sucks? Oh, Joliet is awful. Oh, boo. The only Mm. good thing about Mm. Joliet is St. Joe's Park. All right? That's it. Everything else, bad. What about what about the ice cream parlor in by St. Joseph? I don't give a shit about no goddamn uh, ice cream parlors, Pat. Give me another thing, Gabagool. Give me another thing. Give me what? give me a, an iconic thing about Joliet. Fritz's poorhouse. Dog shit. God. Bobby's tap. Do- uh, okay, yeah, I like Bobby's tap. Drunken oh. donut. Yeah, I like that place too. Juliet's it's, tap. Ain't worth coming back for. How about the hot sauce expo in a couple weeks? Tell us about it there. And there will be wrestling there. There will be hot sauce. And there will be burps from Danny and the LIM. We'll be there on Sunday enjoying the matches in the hot sauce. So you should come and see us. Sunday, July 23rd. That's the 23rd day of the month of July in the year of our Lord 2023. On the day we're recording this, that's 13 days. That's, yeah, today is 7-12. So you're doing math and that's uh, about accurate. Wow, that is gross. Gila. If you're in a tight space, you want to get up to. Smiley McGee, whatever your name is these days. Danny, you want to say that I forget what name I want to be called by Gila, got, Smiley McGee? No, no, Pat, gosh. stop. Stop I'm there just for saying. just a I'm second. Just stop saying. there for just a second. Pat, you got like five or six names. You got Patrick, Pat, PX. Patrick is Pat literally Man. Pat, a shortened version of Pat. Statric, 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 and the, Mr. Horizontal. And the podcast, Papa. That one don't count. You gave it to yourself. It's a dog shit name. Stop calling yourself that. Well, start calling me it. I, I, I'll sit there and call them that. Simp, whose side are you on? Your thumbs down in the podcast, Papa? 
You know whose side he's on. Yeah, his own, because he's the mole. Right side. Simp is the mole? Wait, hold on, wait a second. Not Simp. McGee's the mole. Gabagool, I think we're I think we're on to something here. I think we need to set our differences. Now you know what I've been you're caught up to speed finally. I'm now caught up to speed. speed. You know, yes. I, I didn't use Facebook for years on end and then I reactivated it and rewatched all the videos. You're spitting facts, Gabagool. I'm with you, you on this, but I am the champ. It's uh, just a fact. Uh, we'll so where's your belt? Later, though. You keep saying it's about the you're the champ, but where's your belt? belt? My belt I went to the finest, finest belt maker I could find. And he made something that is both stylish and practical. Unlike this modern, this old belt we got, which is just a kid's toy with trash super glued to it. That belt has meaning. Prestige. Dude, it's not even old style on the front. It's Modelo. It's got you there, guy. Cool. It's all I had, Pac-Man. All you had? It's because you weren't drinking old okay. style. I, I yeah. made that for us. Where was the gratitude okay, for me? Wait, we're we're going to settle this. We'll settle this later. But I'm with you on Smiley McGee, all right? Speaking of Smiley right, McGee, Smiley it's McGee's got something to say. I'm the mole. You're the mole? Yeah, you're the mole? Explain to me why you think I'm the mole. It just oh. makes sense. Yeah, it's, you, you, you just appear. You're behind us at some random show. You infiltrate our community. I mean, where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you go? go? Where'd you come from, Cotton no, Eye Joe? I, Joe? Yeah. Am I am no. I okay? He just randomly sits behind us. The next thing I know, he's in the LIM without yeah. a food, many of us. You know, yeah, yeah, he just showed up. Point. It was like, yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm a lovely intoxicated man. Dude doesn't even drink. How's he gonna fight for the belt? That was the whole point of the honorary use. Hmm. Yeah. Seems like a cash grab, if you yeah. ask me. Yeah. Total cash grab. Mm -hmm. Well, here's the thing. Dan, if you want to have a problem with me, mm -hmm. that's fine. Dabba Ghoul has a problem with me. I'm sitting there sorting that problem out right now. Mm -hmm. at, at the end of this, y'all aren't going to have a problem with me being in the LIM. I'm the glue that holds this together when all things are said and done. I've never seen a smile hold anything together. Um, a smile freshens everybody's day, that pal. He's got you there, Dan. I couldn't even understand it because his microphone's so bad. Hey, World War I'm II call. Hot audio issues, you know. <laughs> World War II. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was Ow. that was pretty good. Ow. <laughs> No. He got, he got your ass, that. Smiley. Yeah. Right. He got anyway. you treated. You got treated, Smiley. It's so stupid. It's funny. Yeah. It's yeah. so I'll fucking stupid. One. Well, Smiley, I mean, you got to prove your case here. I mean, you got the simp here. He's investigating you. So... I said we'll just say what the simp says. Right. So, so he doesn't talk. All he right. clearly doesn't talk. He just talked when he came in. He didn't say a word. All right. So here's the thing. The whole reason I joined LIM is y'all are just as passionate about the wrestling business as I am. I just happen to do it on a sober level. It's like kind of disrespectful the way you said sober. Okay. I just happen, oh, I do drink on occasion. I just don't drink at the show. I do drink. It's not the show. You know, I don't have a designated drug. You know, You're gotta right. be safe. Mm. But I still don't like you. That's a valid point, but you should like him. No, He's a pretty cool Danny, guy. I don't even have a problem with you. You're the one that's picking a problem because you're agreeing with Gabba Gold here. I do. I listen to that, all right? There's collusion. There is collusion in the LIM. Collusion. AEW collision in the LIM. No, there's AEW root beer in the LIM. And it's coming from Smiley McGee over here. Which again, if any of you need an explanation for what that was, I planted the seeds for the simp. And he caught my message, and that's why he was at the Staircase of the Immortals. Speaking of the Staircase of the Immortals, I have a major announcement that I need to make that was so rudely interrupted by my angry brother a little bit ago. Was that when I walked away? That's when you walked away. You ruined it, so I never made the announcement. That's so, so here is a major announcement that I have. This is going to break the world. 
So the past three episodes, I've had a lot of major announcements. On the first episode, I announced we were doing the first episode with Damien Satan, Chuck Gunderson. Episode two, I announced that I bought beer. Smiley, you were the guest on the third episode. I believe I announced the fourth episode was going to happen. This episode, I have the most earth-shadowing... I have the most earth-shattering announcement. And that announcement's simple. Hold on, wait, before... Let me take a drink. Yeah, you guys sitting down wanna, for this? I, yeah, I don't want to spit this out. Simp, are you ready for this? I think this is going to help break your silence. You guys listening? No. I have no announcement. The major oh, announcement. God. Earth-shattering announcement. No announcement whatsoever. You guys thought that I was going to make a big announcement? Nah, nah. I ain't announcing shit, baby. That's it. That was that was the announcement. I wish we could get in your time machine oh, 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 and go oh, back so we didn't have to waste our, our life on you rambling about nothing. Oh, and the yeah, that was, like thir- that was like a minute of and, my life wasted by you and, and telling Sims- me you had nothing to tell me. And the simp said in the chat that um that the announcement was a letdown and it's a bummer. I agree with I'm him. I'm sorry, simp. I agree with him. I'm sorry, simp. Uh well in any case, uh this has been a fourth episode of the show. And very spectacular. Uh, very it, eh, you know, depends on who you ask. Um so now um I just want to close the tab on the episode. Um you know, it was a great episode ish. I mean, but I think the best part of it was, uh, and I think yeah. Gabagol can agree, Thomas Foolery, the best part of the episode. Tom Foolery, swell guy. He's hope a great guy. Well, I hope we see more of him. Yes, definitely. Uh, we're going to close the tab on this episode. But before wait, 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 Pac Man, Pac Man. Do we have any time to talk about uh, something that I've been wanting to talk about? You know what? I'll give you the floor, Tony. Okay, so. Back in 1997, north of the border, there was an event that was held in a little town called Montreal, okay? It's an event called Survivor Series, right? You guys heard of Survivor Series? I've heard of Survivor Mm -hmm. Series. In 1997. So there was a match. It was the main event of the the show. Were you guys familiar with what event occurred on that show? It was a main event. Yes. Survivor Series. Who was involved in it? You know, I don't think we have time to talk about Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels today, buddy. I know. Well, Why not? let's close the tab on this episode then. All right. So with that, this closes the episode four spectacular of the lovely intoxicated podcast. I guess thank you to our guests. I think they're cool guys. They're cool guys. I don't I'll know. see them tomorrow. I don't know. But in any case, uh, Thank you to our guests. Thank you to the LIM. Uh, I guess welcome, Simp, to the LIM Empire. I'm glad we have him in here. I don't know. And, Shut uh, up, Santino. Yeah. That's right, Simp. You oh, got the he, right mindset. Oh, uh, yeah. You know what? He does have the right mindset. Hold on. On the count of three, guys, we got to say it. Ready? One, two, three. Shut, Shut up, up, Santino. Santino. Man, who the hell were those guys? They didn't seem interested in my smoky marshmallow malty drink or the plains of Romeoville or any of that. Like, Chuck Gunnerson, who the fuck is that, dude? I don't know, but they didn't, I mean, they, they seemed all right. I mean, they didn't say anything they bad. Seemed all right. That guy looked you know? like he came straight off the set of The Sopranos, but it was like the knockoff Walmart version, dude. Whoa, whoa, there's nothing wrong with that, you. Oh, now you're picking up the accent. Come on, man. You know what? Let's just get back together next week. We can film the podcast later. I think you need a, we need to take a break for now. And you, need, you need to drink some more and get your head on straight. Oh, I still got half a bottle. Okay. All right. Cheers, buddy. I'll see you next week on the Boner Brews podcast. Maybe we have to do something with that room code so we don't run into them again if that's what you're worried about. You know, I don't mind it, but yeah. I think so. All right, buddy. I'll see you later. And cheers to all of you out there watching this. Cheers to y'all. And remember, stay hopping with hops.
Because, you know, it's in beer. Ah, they get it. They get it. <laughs>